Hello, Paul O'Dea here of the MMA Opinion, and I'm joined on the line by Jacob the Killer Kilburn. How are you doing, Jacob? And I suppose more importantly, how is Fight Island treating you? It's good, man. It's uh, I'm doing well. It's 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 nice here. The people are cool. It's uh, you know, good scenery and all that. So uh, I've done a lot of international traveling before, but never fighting internationally. So it'll be cool. And I suppose what what makes a fight week on Fight Island that bit different to what you're used to? Uh, I mean, well, I guess whether it was Fight Island or not, the the quarantine and being locked in your room for two days that's a little weird. Um, but uh, the the time zone, the time difference, um, you know, if, if if the fight was in Vegas, we'd have access to the PI. Yeah. Um, you know, just uh, some different stuff. But uh, you know, as as far as fight week goes, it it feels about the same. Eating's the same. Uh, the routine is pretty much the same. So, uh, just you're sleeping at different times. But you know, it's not bad. Yeah. And uh, uh, as far as looking back to 2020 for yourself, you didn't compete in 2020, nor were you scheduled for a boat. Was that down to, due to COVID reasons, or was it some time you decided to take off anyway for the year? Uh, you know, I don't know if, if neither would, it would be exactly the reason I, I didn't want to wait. Uh, obviously I wanted to get paid. I, I didn't like not having a, a paycheck for a year. Yeah. Uh, I, we pushed really hard for a fight with Nate Landwehr several times. Uh, the, the fight was submitted to him by Sean Shelby and they turned it down. Uh, we tried to get a match with, uh, Sean Woodson. And it just didn't come together. I threw my name in the hat for the fight um, with, uh, oh, what's his name? Um, I, anyways, there, there's a, a bunch of matches that I was yeah. supposed to fight in September. Um, just things just kept falling through. Just um, didn't come really together important. for you. Yeah, so uh, it wasn't even a name issue. It doesn't matter who I fight or, or when. You know, just wanted to, you know, something more than a week or two notice. Uh, and that, that's, that was kind of the problem is, uh, you know, I, I wanted to avoid Fight Island. Uh, and so that's yeah. why I got booked for Vegas. But the card ended up getting moved anyways. So, yeah, uh, yeah it just, it just kind of worked out that way. And just two things you touched on there. Just the first one about the financials of not getting a paycheck during 2020. Um, I right. did. I did see on your social medias that you had to go fund me for uh, to get the camp ready to get out to right. Fight Island. Yeah. Um, I suppose like a lot of people just assume when you hit the big stage that you know money's looked after and you're you're kind of flying high. But it just goes to show to what twenty twenty did um, to people and to their pockets that that a fighter of your own caliber has to start to go fund me to get there. And I did see right. you hit your target of fifteen hundred anyway. Yes. Yeah, we did good. Uh, it, a lot of people tried to avoid that. Um, yeah. You know, I had some sponsors and stuff that took care of me. Yeah, we moved to American Top Team. We've been there the past year, yeah. so I had sponsors that were that were uh, helping. You know, basically, if it wasn't for them, I, I wouldn't be able to 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 be training there. But um, you know, all my medicals had expired, um, and it, it doesn't matter if you people don't know this, but you know, even if you're John Jones, uh, Conor McGregor. The UFC flies you and one other person. Yeah, of course. But yeah. you get three corner spots, so the other two, yeah, that's on you at your um, expense. People don't know that, and uh, it's, it's, and the medicals are the same way. Your your uh, your six medical exams are on you. Um, I mean, they can take it out of you for your purse if you would like, but nobody wants that. So, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, it, it's it's frustrating it's having tough. to do a little bit of fundraising, but uh, you know. It, that's that's why you got a strong support system that can come together for you. So yeah, exactly. And just the other point I wanted to touch on on what you said was about not taking a, fo- a fight on short notice. Um, right. Like I suppose similarly to your debut against Billy Quarantillo, that was fight. That yep. fight was on a week's notice. Um, yep. now, e- everyone agreed you did show how tough you were during that fight. But do you feel like you didn't get to show off your skill set as a result of taking the fight on such short notice? Oh, for sure. If me and Billy fought again, uh, it wouldn't even be it, it wouldn't even be look close to the same fight. Uh, yeah. now, now he's good, and he's gone on to do well in the UFC. He's beaten multiple opponents in different in uh, he's beaten multiple opponents in different ways. Yeah. But uh, you know, I, I did. I, I took it on a week notice. People people didn't know um, that I wasn't training because I was working through some injuries and whatnot. But. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, you know, you can't really lose two in a row. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how good your management is. Yeah. Um, we have 
really good relationship with the UFC, but either way, uh, you know, after you lose one, unless Pressure's you're some on. kind of ultimate fighter winner or something, you're on the chopping block. So, yeah. um, I needed to make sure I had a training camp and give myself, uh, it, at least a, a fair shot, you know? So, um, oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I suppose your opponent, Austin Lingo, uh, being a Muay Thai background, the, the fight does stylistically suit you a bit better than a, a heavy grappling style would anyway. Are you looking forward to this, but yeah. with Austin? Oh my goodness. This, the, the, you couldn't have picked a better, uh, you know, stylistic, uh, matchup for me. Um, you know, it's, yeah, it's going to be fireworks. I think he's going to play into a lot of my, my game. I think it'll be a good, uh, fan friendly fight that, you know, people, a lot of casual fans don't appreciate the grappling as much. So, uh, you know, for the, for the people that just tune in every now and again to watch guys fight, uh, our fight would be, you know, probably one that they're looking for, but it's also a good opportunity for me to showcase my grappling too. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's a, it's a great great matchup um it uh i couldn't really uh there's nothing to complain about it's uh i'm excited yeah and i suppose you, you touched on as well about losing your debut and not wanting to lose two in a row um sure. you're, bo- you're both coming into the fight in the same position with that regard both having lost your debut both essentially as i know his was in february 2020 but it's more or less a year for both of you that right. you're out of the cage um, are you anticipating a, a, a kind of a more of a war just based on the fact that both of you are in kind of position where it's all on the line in a sense? Uh, yeah, we're both coming in. Uh, there's no comfort zone. Um, we are in a, you know, fighting for our life, fighting for our job. Um, and, and that's just that's just the reality of it. Uh, if you can't show up to work and perform, you, uh, you know, you're going to have to go somewhere else. So we, we've got to there's going to be pressure for both of us. And, and that, I think that will carry us through in moments where maybe we get a little tired or, uh, you know, maybe you would want to take 15 seconds off or whatever, just to, to push through because, um, winning this fight is of the utmost uh, importance. Every fight is a must win. Obviously you never want to take a loss, but this one more than, than any, uh, you don't want to start the new year off with a loss and, and yeah. you don't want to lose two in a row. So I, I would say that the pressure's on for both of us, but it'll be uh, motivating. Um, yeah, exactly. And I think it's just going to make for a, 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 a better fight, honestly. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It looks like a fun fight, at least on paper anyway. And with, with, with as you said, kind of the, the background that both of you are really pushing for a win to get your UFC career started, it should be a good back and forth. Um, I suppose right. it, it, I, I'm presuming you did look at footage of his fight against Yusuf Zalal and the style, it would be a similar enough style to your own with the kickboxing and with kind of fighting from right. range. Did you pick up a lot from that fight or are you, are you kind of going with your own game plan? I mean, uh, me and Yusuf have similarities, but we're, we're different at the same time. Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, you know, more of a point fighter and I'm, yeah. I'm, I have more of a finishing, you know, I, I knock out guys or I submit guys. I've got a little more on the end of my punches and, uh, you know, so, but what he did was just kept a high pace. Of course, Austin did take it on short notice. Um, I think people forget that, but, uh, um, Yusuf kept a high pace and he fought an MMA fight. Yeah. He used his kicks, his jabs, he kept moving, he mixed in the takedowns and he just, uh, you know, use a lot of uh, different skills and, and um, you know, he, he did a, a lot of backwards movement less than I will do. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, that is kind of the blueprint. Just use all your skills um, and you got to be able to uh, to deal with his his constant pressure. Because if you if you relax even for a second, he's always swinging big punches. So, uh, yeah, uh, credit to Yusuf for laying it out there of how it's doing. He didn't do anything special. He just yeah. used... Did, did enough to win, field. right? So uh, I, I think our fight will uh, will be a finish. I think uh, both of us, um, you know, uh, for me, I, I either finish people or, or I get finished. I don't like to go to decision, um, yeah. you know, because it's always the what ifs and or, or the the bad calls you can bring up or whatever. But uh, we're both finishers. I'm uh, and I'm definitely more of a uh, finisher than Yusuf Zulal is. At least in that fight, I, I won't fight quite the same. Way. Yeah, just want to take you back for a moment to uh, Dana White's Contender Series and the fight with Bobby Moffat. Um, coming out of that one with, with, with the loss and the way it went down, 
did you feel like that the opportunity had passed you by or did you know in your heart and hearts that another opportunity would come knocking if you got another couple of wins under your belt? Yeah, I, uh, I, I walked right up to Dana. He, uh, if you remember from, you know, the ultimate fighter, uh, there was a guy, I forget his name, who famously walked up to Dana White and said, hey, I want that fight. There was a, like a shoe-in for a, a replacement bout or something. And, and Dana said, I love it when guys come up to me, they grab me and they look at me and say, hey, I want this fight. And I walked yeah. up to him and I said, hey, what do I need to do? And he said, hey, uh, I talked to Sean and he said that, that you did not look like yourself tonight. Um, they brought you into the Contender Series for a reason. And then the fighter that they brought in didn't show up, and, and, and we know that. He said, so I need you to go get just two wins, and, uh, and then we'll talk. Yeah. And I said, okay. So I went and got two wins, and uh, I was booked to uh, – it wasn't announced yet, but I was going to return on that s- next season of Contender Series. Um, but then uh, it was like five, six months away or something. So, uh, you know, Sean said, you're going to be on Contender – but if something comes up and somebody gets hurt, we'll just go yeah, ahead maybe. and call, get the bump. And, and so, you know, um, I, I guess in a perfect world, I would have had contender and, and had a training camp and been able yeah. to kind of write that contender wrong. But, uh, you know, th- this will be OK, too. Um, it, it, I guess it worked out the way it was supposed to. And, and it was a better payday than contender. So that's that's good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I always feel, though, that when you come in on short notice, and especially such short notice, it was just over a week, I believe, for the Billy Quarantio yep. fight, that you are given that extra bit of time and allowed to find your feet after that. Obviously, like you say, having two or three losses in a row isn't going to stand to you, but you are, you're are you given kind of a reward for jumping in on short notice. So they do, yep. and for showing such toughness as well, they do normally give kind of rewards for that. What do you see kind of as next for you, given a win here uh, on Fight Island? Are you hoping to fight, fight a couple of times this year, or are you hoping to kind of get another full camp and aim for the summer again? Um, I mean, let me uh, get a win and then maybe get, give me two weeks to not think about MMA for a yeah. while. Uh, yeah. I haven't got to see my family. Uh, you know, everybody's back in, in Tennessee. I've got family in Illinois. And I've just uh, I've been in South Florida, an American Top Team, every day, and uh, yeah. so so I need to go visit some people and um, and do that. But uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to jump right back in there. I don't like waiting a long time. Yeah. I feel like uh, I'm I'm fresh, and you got to get that first fight out of the way, and then you feel comfortable again. Um, so this fight will just get me back to feeling comfortable in the octagon again. So or in the ring or whatever. So. Um, yeah, I would like to fight multiple times. One, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to try to get a house this year, uh, yeah. so that that cost me. But I'd like to get a couple wins and, and renegotiate for a higher contract. So, yeah, um, yeah, uh, you know, maybe in the springtime or uh, just see what they offer. Um, it doesn't matter who, you know, but but a, a full camp or at least six weeks, uh, you know, something to. But yeah, yeah I, I want to fight multiple. It, it is one of those as well, especially when you train camp, you're trying to find your feet in a new camp and stuff like that. How is it going with American Top Team? It, yeah, it, it's, it's really good. Um, it's, uh, I mean, it's dog eat dog there. Uh, the best the best in the world, especially for that 135, 145, 155. Yeah. Um, you've got champs, title contenders, and, and guys that are ranked top 10 um, all across the board you've got you know people that are champions and other organizations at that weight class and contenders at other, like it's just it's a murderer's row at, at that for guys my size and uh it's been good um competitive is exactly what i needed uh back home at my home gym i was kind of the the top dog and and yeah. i had to return to the the bottom of the totem pole and and i decided that um you know after after my debut against billy q Mike Brown was backstage. I walked up to coach Mike Brown and I said, Hey, I need to come train with you guys. And I just knew what happened to me that night, regardless of, uh, one week notice and, and whatever. I needed that to happen every day until yeah. it stopped happening. Of course. Um, yeah. And so yeah, that's what I did. I just immersed myself and it was tough, man. There was times where, uh, I've peed blood. I've, uh, I've had pounding headaches for two days, just, I've taken my beatings and I've learned a lot and, uh, and now I'm, I'm being on the winning end of, of rounds 
and uh, it's 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 good. So it's been super productive. I'm adjusted, and I can I can call it home now. So it's nice. A positive move, all in all. So um, look, I I don't want to keep you too late because I know it, it's it's gone past midnight there now over in Abu right. Dhabi. Um, but I suppose just before we go, is there anything you want to tell us? Something we don't know about Jacob Kilburn. Something you don't know. Hmm. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I like to. I, I sing a lot. I you like sing. to sing a lot. I'm pretty, pretty good at don't, cooking. Don't suppose you want to give us a rendition of anything, no? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, what do you want to hear? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I usually don't sing in front of people. But, uh, yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good. But that is something, and I, I usually sing naked, so that's... Uh, well, we definitely um, don't need to see that anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you, might, you might get more or less followers. Just to yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, look, may, may, maybe in the octagon after a victory, we, get, we might get a song out of you. Uh, me and my buddy talked about that, doing something special on the microphone yeah. afterwards. Uh, maybe I'll sing a song. Maybe that'll, yeah. maybe, uh, that'll work out. It'll so. put the spotlight on anyway. Listen, we appreciate you, you coming on, Jacob, and we wish you the best of luck on Saturday night. Best of skills. Appreciate it, man. Much love. Thank you. Thank you.